Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial we're going to talk about debouncing in Roblox. Here I have a simple part and my part has a script. Basically my part has a touch event. So whenever somebody is touching this part, it's going to call this function and it's going to add one point um, to the player score. So we start out with zero point and each time the player touches this part they get one extra point. And then I'm, I'm waiting for five seconds before I process it and print out the number of points that the player has. So now let's play and take a look. And I have opened up my output window. My output window is blank right now. If I go and touch the part, I expect to see one point for each touch. So I jump on it, then I jump off. And let's see what, how many points I get. Look how many points I got. I got 10 points and it printed 10 times. How did that happen? Well, the reason for that is, instead of recording a single touch for each time you touch the part, it records many touches. Like when you jump on the board and it records like your left leg is touching the part, your right leg is touching the part. And when you run on it, it records all those touches down as each one as an, an individual touch. So each of those is calling this uh, part touch function and it adds on the number of points and then it prints out the, the points. So that's why it recorded 10 different touches for that one single touch. So now how do we get around this problem? So I guess in the past, some very smart person has come up with a process called debouncing and it wasn't me. So the to, to use debouncing, what you do is you introduce a boolean variable. So let's call it local is touch. And we set it equals to false. Means that the part is not being touched right now. Nobody's touching the part right now. And as soon as you come into the function here, you're going to say if not is touch, then you can touch it. So if somebody else is touching the part, you cannot touch it till they're finished. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move all this logic here inside my if statement. So, so basically you're allowed to use the part only when nobody else is using it, right? So if not is touch means nobody is touching it, then I can use it. But as soon as I use it, I got to change that flag. So I got to say is touch is now true means I'm using it and when I'm done using it I'll release it and then uh, other people can use it so how do you release it so other people can use it you go down here at the end of the um, F statement you're gonna say is touch is false so when you set it to false means nobody's touching it nobody's using it and now other people can touch it again including yourself so let's take a quick run through this logic and see how it works. So when I first enter the game, my variable is touch is false, means nobody's using the part right now. As soon as I touch the part, it's gonna call this function part touch. And first thing, when I enter the function, I'm gonna check to see if I'm allowed to touch the part. If I'm allowed to touch the part, I'm gonna change the flag so that no, no one else is gonna touch the part while I'm using it. All right, so, I'm going to use it, I'm going to add the points, I'm going to wait, and then I'm going to print out the points. And when I'm done, I reset the flag back to false. So now I can touch the part again, or other people can touch the part. Let's play and take a look. So now there's nothing in the output window, and as soon as I jump on this, I should get only a single point for a single touch. And there it is, points equals to 1. If I touch it again, I should get another point. It should say points equal to two. And there it is. So this process of allowing only a single touch each time is called debouncing by using a debounce variable. Another way to do it would be 
doing the same thing we did as in our previous lesson when we did the fading platform. So instead of using the debounce variable, I'm going to remove this debounce variable. And I'm going to remove my if statement here. I don't need that one. And this end go goes with the if statement. So I'm going to remove that as well. Let me just reformat my document. And here, instead of setting is touch to true, what I do is I set the part can touch to false. So here I'm going to say part dart can touch set that to false means that nobody else can touch this part now and when I'm done processing when I'm done using the part I'm going to set it back to true can touch equals to true. So now everyone can use this part again everyone can touch the part again Let's play and take a look. So now nothing is in my output window and I'm going to jump on it and jump off. I should get only one point for one touch. And there it is. I'll try again one more time. Jump on, jump off. Points should equal to two. And there you go. So those are two different ways to debounce your touches. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.